to Newfie and Frenchie's Hunting and Fishing Tips Hour. Before we start, let's stand and recite the Fisherman's Pledge. <sighs> early to early bed, to bed early, early to rise, rise fish all day, day make up big, big lies. Adrian, I see you have a new hat. Why yes, Lorne, I did get a new hat. And in my opinion, it's always important to wear camo. And that brings us to today's School O' Fish. Welcome to today's School O' Fish. Today the word we will be studying is camo, which as some of you may know, is short for camouflage. I believe it's a French term, camouflage. Camo is the use of a combination of materials, coloration and illumination for concealment thereby making objects harder to see, disguising them as something else. Camouflage usually aims to use the method of crypsis. Crypsis actually means that you use a general resemblance of a background, such as leaves, sand, outdoor stuff, etc. It's been thought though that animals kinda can't see color. However, if you use a pattern to match a background such as leaves, it's way better than using a bold color. As you can see in this image here, a person is hunting with a bow and arrow. You can barely see him because he is using crypsis. He is hunting in snow and his outfit is in white with leaf background. Very good. I can barely see him, let alone an animal. This individual is again using a bow and arrow for hunting, but this time it's in late fall, using the foliage such as ambers and greens to make sure that an animal wouldn't see him with the background. It's very difficult though for a newfie to actually use camouflage. As you can see from the top image here, it's very hard to disguise the rain hat which is in bold yellow. And often, in crowds, a newfie becomes very unruly and loud, so it stands out, out from everybody. All in all, camouflage is a great tool for hunting in winter, fall, and every season. So stick with camouflage. Back to you. Thank you, Adrian, for that important lesson. Now, speaking of how you look, a lot of people bring cameras on their fishing trips. So it's important to know how to pose with your fish. Well, let me show you an example of how you can make a fish look bigger with this cutout. Now, look at this, probably 14 inch fish, but when you move it forward, it's that much bigger. Now, if you were to look at this picture, you would probably would have believed me that it was a uh, probably a 46 master angler, but in actuality, this fish was only 8 inches. Whoa, 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 Lorne. These people might not even know how to fish. Let's start with what's in your tackle box. Well, have I got a secret weapon for you. Okay, let's start off with the basics here. We got our fishing wire. Uh, oh. Oh, what do we have here? We got our yellow head and our white heads. Now, usually I change between the season. Usually I use these in late fall. Or depending on if someone is catching them, I'll probably use a yellow if I see someone else using yellow. We've got other colors here. Got my uh, fishing gloves because I don't like to touch those slimy Mariahs. Got my pliers. Oh, my bug spray. I hate bugs. Oh, and we got our, uh, my poncho, it's just in case there's some rain. Oh, we got something behind here. Baloney. Whatever fisherman needs. Perfect type of bait. Right there. Good grief, Lorne. That'll only catch you a minnow. Now let me show you what a true fisherman's tackle box looks like. <sighs> 
Now, always be prepared. I've had some problems in the past during my hunting and fishing trips, but now's not the time or place for that story. I've got some real Rapala pliers here. Great tool, great tool. Now I too have some colored heads. I've been using the pink one lately and my barb's been bent, unlike Lauren's. Also got some fishing gloves and some other lures here. And my favorite secret weapon, garlic. Not just great for a steak, but it's perfect for the lake. Now with both of our tips, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Uh, we got a great fishing trip set up for you tomorrow morning, so stay tuned. And now a word from our sponsors. The High Performance Sports Car, proof of mankind's amazing engineering talent. But what if your high performance machine is lacking in the performance department? Introducing Superjuice, a revolutionary fuel additive. Superjuice contains 387 scientifically designed compounds formulated to make your car run at its best. Add a bottle of Superjuice to your next full tank of gas and feel the difference it makes. Thanks, Superjuice! In stores now. Welcome back to Nufi and Frenchie's Hunting and Fishing Tips Hour. It's a beautiful morning. It's about oh 10 o'clock someone was a little uh, late getting out of bed this morning welcome just getting ready for our fishing trip here got my tackle box oh, my, my. Got my new rubber boots couldn't find my other ones Got my fishing pole. And our snacks. Can't ever forget our snacks. We got our Doritos. And we got our sandwich. Perfect new fish sandwich. Piece of bread, ketchup, mustard, bologna, and a piece of bread. Perfect. Can never be too prepared. Make sure we got everything. As Lauren mentioned, being prepared is always the right thing to do. Make a mental list of everything that you need to bring on your fishing trip. Because sometimes it's the small things you forget. Speaking of forgetting, my fishing trip partner here once forgot the anchor and almost flooded the boat. Well, it appears we're all set. Good to go on our fishing trip. All set. We're going fishing. We're going fishing. Every good trip deserves a stop at Jim Hortons. What do you want, Adrian? Um, maybe an orange juice and I'd like to try one of those spicy bagels. Jalapeno and orange juice? No wonder you need the extra toilet paper. What do you want to get? Oh, right, right. Can I get an orange juice, a jalapeno bagel, a large coffee, one cream? What is going on with the bagel? Is it toasted with anything or? Uh, just toasted with uh, cream cheese. Plain cream cheese? Yeah. Okay. After that? A uh, large coffee, one cream, and a peony. Pardon? And a peony? Yeah. Uh, what type of panini would you like? Uh, the chicken one. A chicken one? So it's not just chicken? Yep. And then on what it will be green? 
Uh, multigrain. Yep. Thank you. Get an extra cup for that. An extra cup? Sure. Yeah. Orange juice? Sorry? I ordered orange juice. Orange juice? It's not down on here. Would you like me to charge you one? Yes, please. Okay. $172. Sorry, thank you. We're going fishing. Hmm? We're going fishing. Oh, have a nice day. Thanks. Jimmy's lady was kind of cranky. Who doesn't like going fishing? Can't believe they forgot my orange juice. How's your coffee? All right, my coffee. I like it hot. I don't know how some people can drink it cold like that though. Jim Hickey, he drinks it cold all the time. Oh, 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 my, 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 my. Introducing Coffee Camo. Never be embarrassed about drips or failed sips again. Great for trips fishing and hunting, but it even works for trips to the movies or the mall. Order yours today for the low price of $24.99 plus $34.95 shipping and handling. Product not available in stores. When your drink goes kablamo, you'll wish you had coffee camo. Brought to you by the makers of Shitty Shorts. After a quick t-shirt change, it's now time for hunting for a joke. There were these two newfies, you see, and they really wanted to go on a fishing trip. But they had everything but their boat. So they decided they were going to rent a boat. The next day on their fishing trip, they weren't having great luck. Their first spot, weren't catching much fish. Second spot, not really catching much fish either. However, going close to home time, they found a perfect spot. Their third spot was perfect. It was brilliant. They were catching fish at left, right, and center. The one newfie says, how are we going to remember this spot? Oh, I've got an idea. I'll take this pen and I'll mark an X on the boat. The other newfie's thinking a bit there. He says, you idiot, that's not gonna work. 
Why, says the other newfie. Well, how are you going to make sure that we're going to rent the same boat tomorrow? <laughs> a newfie would never go fishing without his boat. That's something a French frog would do. Adrian! Oh, you stink! Well, looks like we're here. It's a good thing, too. I don't think I could stand of any more of Adrian's stink. Are you tired of juices that only contain one fruit or vegetable? Are you fed up with juice blends that are mostly sugar with only two or three fruits or veggies? Do you wish there was a juice that contained all your favorite fruits and vegetables? Will you buy pretty much anything you see advertised on TV? Introducing Super Juice, a revolutionary thirst quencher. Super Juice contains 387 vitamins and minerals formulated to make your body run at its best. Just take a look at these ingredients. That's over 100 fruits and vegetables. At just over 7,000 calories per serving and no added sugar, it's a great way to start your day. Thanks, Super Juice. Oh, welcome back, everyone. When we last left you, Lorne had forgot the boat. We did end up staying the whole day shore fishing, but we didn't have much luck. Lorne, can you pass me the fish? Yeah, we fished all day. Pretty hot one out there. Here you go. Thank you. Got some extra bologna if you want some too. Well, that's all for today, folks. Lorne? Right. Keep your line in the water and keep your toilet paper handy. <laughs>